virus. Not really that upset about black people dying. Yes, I understand the anger about it and the hospital workers. <clears throat> I'm just saying it's kind of funny when the out when the outrage is a little selective. Like you are so upset about people dying about this. I was in the 212, I'm the uptown, hey nigga, you know what's up or don't you? Word of who made ya, I'm a real- Hi, I'm here for my surgery. Hi, Ryan, right? You're here to get your appendix removed? Yeah. Just so you know, when you're in the surgery today, one of the surgeons may decide to stab you to death. What? It's very unlikely, but, you know, we've got a few bad apples. <laughs> well, then I don't want the fucking surgery. Calm down, sir. Not all surgeons are bad. You shouldn't be hiring any surgeons who purposefully stab people. Oh, so now it's our fault? <laughs> well, maybe people like you should stop being so stabbable. Um, so apparently, like, the Swedish racist Twitter is going off at me because they said all cops are bastard, speaking about the American police. And, uh, period. <laughs> no, but... Like, yeah, I haven't met every single one of the police officers individually. I'm talking about the fucking system, the badge. You know what I'm saying? It's racist. It's whack. It's killed way too many innocent people. It put way too many innocent people in prison for like minor, whatever. The system is fucked. And then I was sitting here thinking like, I really don't give a fuck if these racist ass people hate me for saying that shit. I don't give a fuck. And that also made me think that in itself is a privilege because I can just go out and say, like, fuck y'all while black people are scared to get killed. Like, I've had um, encounters with the Swedish police, and I personally think they're very nice. Like, they were treating me very nicely. So, but also, I'm white. I'm, I have money. I'm famous. You know, all that. But the Swedish police system isn't built on the same structural racism. Like... Yes, of course, we have racism, like we have everywhere around the world, but it's not structural and was built on the fact that they were slave patrols. And also systematic racism doesn't necessarily mean that there's a lot of racists in the system. It just means that the system, which is like a big machine, how everything works in the society, it works really well for white people. And it benefits white people and it doesn't work that well. And it could actually hurt black and brown people. You see, it's not about individual people.
has got to prove one's title to the land. Isn't 400 years enough? 400 years, at least three wars. The American soil is full of the corpses of my ancestors. Why is my freedom or my citizenship or my right to live there? How is it conceivably a question now? What we are not facing is the results of what we've done. What one begs the American people to do for all our sakes is simply to accept our history until the moment comes <coughs> when we, the Americans, we, the American people, we are trying to forge a new identity for which we need each other. Until this moment, there is scarcely any hope for the American dream. I can't, I, can't, I can't blame nothing on her. It was my decision. I said, hey, if she can't get her order, her order together and, you know, I'm not feeling, you know, up tight right now, silencing me. I just want, it's not that all lives don't matter, but right now, our lives matter. Black, Black lives, matter. lives matter. Yes. Black trans lives matter. Yes. Trans lives matter. Yes. Because guess what? We all minorities, but right now, like, let's focus on the person who got killed. Tony McDay was a black trans man. Okay. Amen. We're not doing this. we doing this for him. We doing this for our brothers and our sisters who got shot, but we doing this for every black person. Because at the end of the day, I cannot take my fucking skin color off. Mm -mm. I cannot mask this shit, okay? Everywhere I fucking go, I'm profiled whether I like it or not. That ain't right. Like I'm looked at whether I like it or not. That ain't right. Being, first of all, I want white people to realize their fucking privilege. Yes, no one can look at you and tell anything about you on this